And a warm welcome on what is an ideal night for football, you've got to say. I'm Derek Ray, and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Brentford, and they take on Ukraine. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield would be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Zinchenko. Stepanenko. On to Yarmolenko. Long-range effort. A bit sloppy in possession. That's very effective, good, high pressing. Teammates available. Can he find the net? Just made sure nothing came of that. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, that's the end of that for now. I must say, this looks promising. Committed challenge. Can he put them in front? He knew he had to make the tackle, and did. Now sending it in. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Well, that is how to play advantage. Ivan Toni. Da Silva. Vitali Janelt in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. A fine block. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? And he takes it on. Terrific block. And the referee says penalty. Substitution for Brentford coming off the pitch. Number 16, Ben Mee, to be replaced by number 20, Christopher Eyre. And now to level the game. And a goal! He was composure personified, and he's done his job from the spot. Let's take another look. He deceives the goalkeeper really well here by getting to dive one way before placing it into the opposite side. A really good penalty. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Eduard Sobol. Stepanenko. Yaremchuk. Takes the shot. And a goal! In the lead again. Fully deserved. Well, there it is. It's a lovely finish. Just the right side of the post. Close, but good enough. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Johan Wiesa. Henry. Ivan Tony. Now, let's see what they can do here. He's trying to create something. One goal down, but now a corner kick. Well, oh, they're going for the short one.
So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. Doing well to keep possession. A chance maybe from the wide position, but timely defending when it mattered. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space, and his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Plattered away. Well, the away side haven't bossed the possession, as you can see. But they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good... Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out any sign of danger. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. And they will make the change now. Jensen. Ivan Tony. On the ball, Jensen. Under pressure, can he finish? catch it perfectly and didn't he just well here it is again and what a perfect cross into the box this is just inviting someone to attack it and when he gets onto it he holds off the challenge keeps his balance and makes good contact with the ball that's a top class finish so underway again at two all nice ball to switch the point of attack Malinowski Stepanenko. Oh, fancy footwork. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Can they forge ahead from this corner kick? Let's see. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Corner kick played in. Aaron Hickey. Josh Da Silva bodies forward and the break looks on good work to win the ball back high up the pitch he's got to score and a goal this time applying the finishing touch just what the doctor ordered Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Ten minutes left for play. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Here it is now, the substitution. And he's fired over the corner. Now well, they couldn't take advantage of the opportunity. Making sure it didn't get past him. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. This could level it, but denied by the keeper. And at this late stage of the proceedings, it could be highly significant. Well, it could be a huge moment, Derek. So little time left now. Played over. Well, there's no way to escape the verdict that that was an awful corner. Firing it towards goal. 
And that wasn't a million miles away, almost the equaliser. Well, it's not a bad effort, is it? But they've got to find a way back into this one. And that is the end of the contest, and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to.